So if anyone's seen the uh, UFC 293 weigh-ins or the ceremonial weigh-ins or just was keeping up with uh, how much the fighters weighed in at on MMA Junkie or MMAFighting.com, any of them websites, you would have seen that there was actually a big weight miss by one of the fighters on this card. And it's really ironic who the fighter was who missed the weight. It was actually Shane Young. But Shane Young actually missed weight by over three pounds, I believe. I think it was 149 and a half, maybe. And, you know, the limit for featherweight's 146. So, yeah, so, so yeah he was like three and a half pounds overweight. And, yeah, with, with Shane Young missing weight, you know, Israel Adesanya wants him to lose 90% of his purse. You know, he he didn't... Now, he didn't say that specifically about Shane Young, his teammate. But when Shane Young fought Ludovic Klein, and Ludovic Klein missed weight by 5 pounds or 4 pounds, I can't remember exactly how much it was, but he missed weight by a decent amount. And he went on to knock out Shane Young. And after that fight... Israel Adesanya was on the same card. He fought Paulo Costa, and you know he had that good performance against Paulo Costa, chopped at his legs, you know, and then he knocked out Paulo Costa in the second round, I believe it was, and then he got on the mic and he said, "They need to change the rules for people who miss weight. They need to make they need to start finding the ninety percent, you know." If, 30% isn't enough, 90%, then people won't miss weight, you know. He said something along them lines because, you know, Ludovic Klein miss weight. Well, yeah, if, if, if Israel Adesanya still feels that same way, then, you know, he, he, he wants Shane Young to lose 90%. He wants Shane Young to get fined 90%. Yeah, you know, he didn't specifically say it about Shane Young, but it'd be interesting to see if, if you know, is if, Israel Adesanya says anything in his press conference or post-fight interview. I doubt he will. I guess it's only when, like, one of his teammates' opponents misses weight that he'll say something like that. But, yeah, I just thought this was interesting because out of it's really, like, it's crazy. Out of all the fighters that could have missed weight, it was Shane Young who, you know, Israel Adesanya went on that whole rant after he beat Paulo Costa. You know, wanting he, he even talked to Dana saying Dana needs to change the rules. You know, Dana has to change all this stuff to try and fix weight misses. And then, yeah, then he, out of all of the people, Shane Young's the one to miss weight. Like, honestly, absolute craziness. Absolute craziness. But, yeah, you know, I, I'm not, this isn't like an anti-Shane Young video. I just, I thought this was a valid point to bring up, like, I doubt we're going to see Israel Adesanya bring this up in his post-fight interview or his press conference or anything, but, you know, if any of the interviewers are watching this video, which I doubt they are, somebody needs to ask Israel Adesanya, what's his thoughts on Shane Young missing weight? Does he think Shane Young should lose 90% of his purse? Because, you know, it, it could be a tactical weight miss, you know, he missed weight by three and a half pounds, Gabriel Miranda's a grappler, so he... He could be he could be missing weight for a tactical advantage, you know. You never know. I don't actually think that. Obviously, Shane Young did look really rough up there. But yeah, I hope somebody asks Adesanya about this because you know he was very vocal that if anyone misses weight, they got to get fined like ninety percent of their purse. Let me actually read out what he said in the uh, article. Let me see if I can find it. So this was. It's like 253, I think. So, uh, he cheated. So, yeah, he said that about the guy who missed weight. Adesanya said, too many fighters have been coming in over their weight limits and some are happy to take the between 20 and 30% financial hit to make sure they get a win. It's just cheating. I'm telling you, if you find someone 90% of your purse if you miss weight, I guarantee you, no matter how much money you're making, no one is going to go through this whole camp, through this whole shit and be willing to give 90% of their pay to the other guy. 
that would take every second to make the weight. Even if you're making So if you can't hack it, go home because we have killers all ready to go. Who cares? He missed weight, he cheated, doesn't matter. So yeah, do you know the way he seemed very uh, vocally against weight misses? Uh, he better have something to say about Shane Young, I reckon, because... I don't know, he seemed very vocal about all these guys who miss weight. He even spoke about Zubera, uh, you know, Zubera, Habib's teammate, Tucker, Tucker Goff. I think that's how you say it. Zubera, yeah, Taku Goff. I'm so bad with pronunciations, but yeah. So, yeah, I hope Adesanya brings this up. If it does, it'd be really, it'd be a good, it'd be a good thing for him to do because... It'd show that he's not just biased towards his teammates, but I doubt he's going to mention Shane Young missing weight. But, uh, yeah, I just thought this was a valid point. So I thought I'd talk about this. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. I'll do my lock of the cards tomorrow. You know, my lock streak's going strong, so make sure you check out the locks. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.